Hey guys, um, today is a bit different. As you can see, um, I'm not in front of the camera in my bedroom. I am in front of my computer downstairs like I was when I filmed last week's video with the screen capture of my phone. Um, that's because I just want to do a chilled chat with you guys today. Um, basically, I've had a bit of a stressful week. Um, and it has been one of those where I thought I'm really glad that I actually uploaded and like scheduled all of the other videos previous to this one um, in advance because I know that if I hadn't done that they never would have got uploaded <laughs> it just wouldn't have happened because the last week or so has been crazy absolutely insane so um, today I wanted to talk to you just about some general stuff really um got a couple of updates so the reason that um this video is like this basically is because it is half past three on wednesday and this video should be uploaded and live by five o'clock on wednesday so that is the reason for this format um because I want to make sure that you have a video but there is no hope in hell of me filming and editing a video in that time. Uh, and the reason that I've been so delayed is because I have just had a appointment session, uh, a remote session with a technician from a company who has installed the software for me, um, for my accessibility stuff. So. Um, from like the DSA which has been awesome so I've just been setting up like my microphone settings and stuff for the dictation software and that um, which is kind of taken me till this time in the afternoon so um, we are gonna be doing this video together now um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, I have had an obsession recently that has just grown kind of out of proportion and I never really noticed it happening until the other day when I lined up all of my stuff on a table and I took a photo and I thought, oh my god, that's war that's so obsessive. So essentially, um, I have been buying holographic like design stuff um, and I suppose to explain I should give you an example. So. My first few examples are the things I carry around with me generally on a daily basis. Um, my first example is this, which is just an A4 folder that is like holographic thing, pattern from a skinny dip, and then all of the other stuff that I'm about to show you also matches. So this is like my passport holder. Um, like that that's exactly the same like pattern not exactly the same scaliness but it's the same like holographic stuff this one is a like a coin purse so it's like a little little purse and then it has one card slot there um which i carry with me and then a purse which obviously is way bigger than the other one um, and that is why I got the coin purse so that I don't always have to like run downstairs to the art shop with my whole purse with me which is good and the, re the time I realised that I was obsessed um, was because I've just shown you the purse um, and actually that wasn't my original purse I actually had this purse before which is also from Skinny Dip as you can see so these are my two purses <laughs> Um, and it turned, the reason that I ended up replacing this purse, literally the only reason, was because it ma this one matched the other stuff better. Because obviously this is pink, metallic pink and scaly, whereas these stuff are all the holographic, go blue, purple and all of that. Whereas this one didn't do that. So I've kind of changed that. Um... And that's not all, because I then ended up buying a phone case as well. So I've also got this, like, flip wallet phone case that has, like, a card slot on it. And, oh, as I tell you that, I get a notification, I get a Snapchat, and I have the accessibility thing turned on that when you get a notification, it, like, flashes. And just as I was showing you, I had it pointed right in my eye, just as I got a Snapchat. So that hurt. <laughs> um... 
but this is not the end of it guys okay so that is all the stuff i carry with me my purse a coin purse an a4 wallet which normally has my ipad and some pieces of paper in it and then obviously my phone so they're all matching in like the holographic vibe but this is not the end so it also turns out that um i also have a pencil case which is kind of too big to be in my bag really like i don't carry it it's like a desktop pencil case so that is this and this is also scaly holographic stuff apart from this one is like a lighter a much lighter finish like it's more white so this is on my desk this is on my desk all the time and then another item that i have is this makeup roll which I did actually attempt to show you guys in my January favourites, but um, the camera stopped recording at the point when I was showing you it. Um, so basically it only showed like the last two brushes in the set rather than the whole of everything. But this is like a makeup roll. Uh, so you can see here is the makeup actual section. So there's the zip and it's like a little pencil case. And then all around here you like undo the little button like this and then it unrolls and then all of your makeup brushes are in there like that but this is another holographic item that i am absolutely in love with right now so i guess you can say that i'm obsessed so i obviously wanted to share that with you and i will actually probably write a blog post about it because i'm clearly so obsessed that i need to share it online that is now my new favorite thing in my lifestyle which is perfect um another thing that i want to share with you that i want to talk about real quick is um that the other reason that I'm just doing this video just quickly like this is because um, I'm actually really excited for something new. Um, rather than using my DSLR, um, I have just bought a new camera which actually has a flip up screen so that I can look at the, like, the viewfinder and I can set it up myself to film a video without needing James to come and do stuff for me so that I can sit on the bed and be in centre frame and stuff. Um, so that's really exciting and I've also bought one of those little handle things so that I can use it to vlog really easily um, which means there will be more vlogging and stuff. This is a lot more of a smaller camera um, so it will be in my bag most of the time rather than the DSLR which stays at home always because it's so heavy and I just don't take it anywhere. Um, so yeah, when I get it, which is arriving tomorrow and I'm very excited, um, I will definitely be filming videos and I will talk about it to you, um, just in case you are interested when I show you I'll talk about it more, but it is um, the Nikon 1 J5, so like their new range Nikon 1, it's the J5 of that, um, and it's just really nice, it's really nice! Um, and I'm very excited. <laughs> um, so looking forward to that. Another benefit that I just wanted to talk about, um, I won't risk showing you because it is actually the microphone for the audio input right now, um, is with my DSA stuff, um, as well as the accessibility software, to go alongside that they have provided me with a, um, a microphone headset to use with the dictation but they've also provided me with a stand a stand desktop mic which is like a little mini one that I can take to lectures and um, audio record the lectures in a much higher quality than I could if I just put my phone on the desk and it's really good at um, isolating like noise so if in the lecture hall there's like chatter and noise and stuff it will kind of try and remove that and only focus on the one main prominent voice which is really good um, but like I say I'm not going to show you that because if I go to pick up the mic now it's gonna be like ear rape for you because I'm using it now to record the audio so I'm not going to pick it up or touch it or anything um, but that's also a new development um, me and James have also worked out that um, as well as being able to plug it into the computer and my iPad and my phone to use it to record, I can probably plug it into the microphone um, thing of my camera um, and use that to record the audio that way which will be much better than just using the microphone on the camera. Um, although it is not like a camera 
like mic, like a boom mic thing that you plug in. It's not specifically for that. It should function in that way, which is always really handy just to have because it's not something that I'm kind of in the position to consider buying yet. Um, I'm not at that stage where I'm kind of considering buying lighting equipment and microphones and that kind of stuff. Just the camera and making sure I have natural light, which is the other topic of conversation now. The natural light is gone. All of it. I sat down when I wanted to film the video and I was just preparing some stuff and the next second I turned around and it had clouded over outside and I've got this lamp on which makes me look so overexposed um, and when I turn the lamp away it's really dark so I've kind of got it like half on, half off and I've got the, the light above me on which I can't, if I move back actually, maybe if I move here Maybe this is better, there's better lighting that way. It's still not exactly fab, but... Oh, well. Um, yeah, actually, now I've moved back, you can see something else that is very exciting right now. So, I am a big fan of matching, like, your feet to your top half when I actually match clothes, when I actually bother. Um, I've all, when I was younger I used to have like burgundy thrilly socks and I used to wear those with this burgundy top and then the middle bit, like normally your jeans or your leggings would just be neutral, like black or something. So I got this hoodie recently, it is absolutely amazing, I will stand up and I'll show it you more. So it is a really long, it goes down to my knees essentially, it is like super long. Um, and it has this like zip section here. Ah, uh, can't. It has this zip section that you can just zip up, but I quite like leaving it open because it's like a little embellishment. But as you can see, it is a khaki hoodie. Uh, and it's just big and comfy. But the benefits of this khaki hoodie is I, as much as I can sit around the house and chill in it very cosily, I can also dress it up with only one other accessory. And that is just a pair of boots. Because I already happened to own this pair of boots, which are nice smart casual boots and because this hoodie is so long and goes down to my knees I can wear it as a kind of like sweater dress and then wear these boots with it which makes me feel like I can dress as cosy as if I'm in my pyjamas but at the same time I'm dressed up enough to go out to dinner which is always a benefit and it's made me so happy recently um, and I've basically lived in this. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that my most recent photos have basically only been wearing this jumper. Um, so this is going to be the last day I'm wearing it because it will need to go in the wash now. But um, I've been very happy to be able to use it and wear it and have been so cosy. Um, so, yeah, these are my updates. I bought a new jumper. Everything I own is holographic and a bit over the top, but I love it, so I don't care what anyone thinks. I've had all of this software installed, which has delayed this video for hours and hours, and I have a new microphone, and I have a new camera on the way, and we're all very excited. Um, but that's it, I don't have any other updates. Um, the one update I do have, I'm not going to share with you yet, I'm going to leave it as a tantalising mystery for now, um, and I will show you uh, when I film my next video, um, because it is something that is not finished, and it, when it's ready, I'll show you in its full glory, um, and that'll be fantastic. But for now, I feel like I've updated you on everything. It was nice to do this in a much more casual setting. Um, obviously, filming this way takes a lot less setup. All I have to do is kind of like just start recording and talking. Um, and it's not like a whole thing where I have to rope James in um, and make sure that I'm in centre frame and stuff because the camera that I was using for the main videos well, doesn't have a thing, a flip up so I can't centre myself in frame or anything like that. Um, but this way has been nice, it's been quite enjoyable just to sit and have a chat so um, I will leave it there for now. Obviously if you like this video do give it a thumbs up uh, but bear in mind obviously with the new camera on the way the quality should be rising from just my normal um, display camera 
Um, so do you give a thumbs up if you liked it and um, of course get involved in the comments if you feel like you want to get involved in the comments. Um, I think a lot of the stuff that I have talked about um, as terms of the holographic stuff um, I did actually already maybe mention in my favourites and if not I'll probably mention it again in another favourites to come um, in which case I won't leave the links in this video description but um, watch out for where they'll be featured again because they definitely will be featured again in a proper favourites video because I love them so much and the links to them will be down below in that um, in those videos. Bye!